Hello everybody, welcome back for the second time this week. We are going to be going over the second half of livestock management practices. In this event, in this watch along, you are going to be looking at and learning about what livestock practices are applied to each species. Okay, so last video we talked about what are these techniques and practices. Today we're looking at which species get these practices applied to them. This is going to be important because as we start talking about the particular ways that animals are raised across the country and in the state of North Carolina, you will want to know what livestock management practices are applied to each species. All right, so we are going to pick up with cattle, okay? So cattle, the livestock management practices that cattle follow is they are castrated, dehorned, vaccinated and identified. So those are the four practices that cattle have applied to them in livestock and animal husbandry. Okay, so castration, dehorning, vaccination, and identification. Those four. All right, that'd be a good idea to maybe write this down maybe make a chart maybe just putting it out there might want it for later all right so next point sheep so in the livestock management practices that are applied to sheep are the four, same four that are applied to cattle castration dehorning vaccination identification but we also add tail docking and shearing for sheep. So sheep get six, oh, I did seven. See, sheep get six things done to them throughout their lifetime in order to keep them healthy, okay? They're castrated, they're dehorned, they're vaccinated, they're identified, their tail is docked, and they're sheared. Goats, all right? The goat livestock management practices. Um, they are very similar to cattle and sheep. They are castrated, they're dehorned, they're vaccinated, and they're identified. But we don't dock the tails of sheep, and we may or may not shear. I'm sorry, we don't dock the tails of goats. I'm sorry, my fault. Okay, that's a blooper reel for Mr. Davenport. But we don't, but we don't dot the tails of goats, and we only sometimes shear goats depending on the purpose of the goat. Are they a meat goat? Are they a wool goat? Are they a hair, hair goat? So different goats are used for different species. If they're a meat goat, we normally don't worry about uh, shearing them because it's not necessary. They have a different type of um, hair. If it is a goat that ha is being raised for fiber, then definitely, yes, we shear them. So keep in mind castration, dehorning, vaccination, identification, and maybe shearing for goats. Swine livestock management practices. So with the pigs, the uh, livestock practices that we uh, apply to pigs are castration. They don't dehorn so because they have no horns. We vaccinate, we identify, we dock their tail because pigs have a nice long curly tail when they're born, and we clip their needle teeth. So those four things, one more time, are pigs are castrated, they're vaccinated, they, they're, they're identified, their tail is docked, and their teeth are clipped. Five things. 
in poultry, and this is going to wound up our video for the day, it's really short. In poultry, we only apply three practices to poultry animals. In particular, we're looking at the chicken poultry industry. We vaccinate them, we identify them, and we de-beak them. Now, we can castrate them because we did talk about the term for a castrated rooster, but most of the time it is absolutely unnecessary to castrate a um, rooster because a lot of the times roosters and hens are kept at completely separate facilities. The only time roosters are really around hens are if it's a yard flock kept by a farmer or if it is a broiler breeder house where we allow the roosters and the hens to intermingle so that they can have create fertilized eggs. So we'll talk more about that later when we discuss, well, chicken production. So guys, this ends our look at livestock management practices. Um, please feel free to refer to this. Make sure that you write down what are those practices that are applied to each species. It's going to come in handy, I promise. All right, so this is our, in addition to our first video from the beginning of the week. So take a look. Enjoy this, and guys, I'll talk to you later.